Wisdom Wednesday. Thank you so much for tuning in and for choosing to spend some of your time with me. It's your girl, Marie Milagros, here. We're keeping this one short and sweet. It's the end of May. Woo! Congratulations, you made it to the end of another fantastical month. And if you've been following along, then you know that we have been talking about allowing love, ease, fun, you know, abundance to flow into our lives. Just kind of being open to allowing the flow of these amazing things. And I learned this little lesson from my daughter. So this is my story. This is what I want to share with you. Um, in the morning, I get up and I get out of bed and I do, I smile before I get out of bed and I do a list of things that I'm grateful for before I get out of bed. But I have a tendency that when I pass the mirror, most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time, I'm like, what is happening with your hair? Or like, really, Maria? Or did you sleep on one side of your face? Like, you know, I always have this like weird random conversation happening in my head. And I noticed that when my daughter gets out of bed, she passes the mirror and she goes, Hey girl, <laughs> like that. And I'm like, yes, girl, yes. I have got to get better at first thing in the morning, looking at all this and going, hey girl, <laughs> right? We all do. Part of allowing and the flow and accepting and the surrender and the relief and all of that stuff that's gonna get us to the next level is fully allowing ourselves to accept and approve of ourselves at all times. Not just when my hair is done and not just when I have mascara on and not just when I have a bright orange dress on a bright pink chair. Not just when, but all the time. Being willing and open to looking at ourselves, loving on ourselves and saying to ourselves, hey girl, at all times. That's really what happens when we become more self-confident, when we become more self-praising, more self-approved, more self-accepting. One, we expect it less from other people and need it less from other people, which lets them off of the hook. Two, we're building up our own self-esteem and the word esteem comes from within. It means to like yourself, right? Hence self-esteem, liking ourselves. And three, when we feel better and we feel more confident, we're more productive, we're more efficient, we're more effective, we're more creative, we're more fun to be around. Hey, who's the life of the party? Um, and we're just happier. We're happier people because again, we're not expecting other people to approve of us or to say nice things to us because we can look in the mirror and say it to ourselves. When I, the truth is, and this is the true story, when I get dressed in the morning, I don't go, I hope so-and-so likes this outfit. I put it on, I'm like, oh, it's bright orange, and I feel like bright orange today. Yes, this compliments how I'm feeling, and that's how I get dressed. Not in search of compliments, but complimenting what's happening within me, right? If that makes sense. Not compliments with an I, but compliments with an E. Uh, and then, again, the other side of that is no matter where I go, I'm bringing the joy. I'm bringing the light. I don't need you to approve of me. I got me. What you think about me is not my business, okay? Because I am already self-approved. So I woke up this morning and I looked in the mirror and I went, hey girl. And then I couldn't stop laughing and it was really fun. And I had a little moment and then I told my daughter about it and she cracked up and she was like, you got that for me. Yes, I did. She probably got it for me. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyways, that's all I have. Allow yourself to approve of yourself, to accept yourself in all moments. Because again, when you do, it boosts your self-esteem, it boosts your confidence, it makes you better at everything you do in your life. So the next time you stop in front of a mirror or you catch a reflection, instead of going like, ugh, what the, you go, hey girl, <laughs> that's it. Uh, unless you're a guy. Then you go like, sup boy? Right? Maybe, I don't know. You'll figure it out, whatever it is you say. So let me know in the comments below, what do you say to yourself when you see yourself in the mirror? Now, we generally have a rule in my house that when you pass uh, a reflection, you have to compliment yourself. Like, oh, you look cute, oh, nice hair, or whatever. But it, I never did it first, first thing in the morning. And so I'm glad that I had this new allowing experience because now I'm allowing myself to approve of myself and accept myself all the dang time. Don't tell her I said dang. She'll say it's a bad word. Uh, so that's it. That's all I have for you. I hope you have a great rest of your week. I hope the rest of May, which ends tomorrow, is super sparkly everything. I hope June starts off as magic. I hope your weekend is fantastical. Unicorns, rainbows, butterflies, mermaids, all that jazz. And lots and lots of looking in the mirror and... Hey, girl. Yeah, that's all I got. I hope you have a great one. 
Bye. Love you.